back to BRG. We are super excited today because we're getting our Australian white ewes put into their special pen for breeding for this fall. So, all three of them are in there. We decided since uh, handling, uh, manhandling these guys is not an option anymore. <laughs> because of their size, um, we're just going to use the trailer. So, um, we got them loaded from the corral, and then we're going to put them in the structure that Ryan built, um, a little mobile. This would be called the Lamborghini instead of our Ramborghini, because our Rams are in one similar to this, but um, so we'll have to use it, and then we'll put our special Ram in there. I'll make videos. You guys already kind of know. I've talked about it enough. But um, yeah, Ryan worked really hard on this. Uh, about a week in the shop. Me pull forward? Okay. Um, yeah. I had this, this is a last minute addition that I made him do. Put a hate beater in there. Has shade. Nice gate on it, on wheels. Let me pull forward and then I'll get back with you guys. Okay, well you guys know how it is trying to do things. You always need two hands. So I wasn't able to film, but we got them moved out here. They're eating. We're going to push this into a nice grass spot. We backed it up right here and just had a little, um, made a little alleyway thing. I wanted to make sure we backed it all the way up straight to the, the gate. And I was worried about them jumping over so I was like, okay, we got to make sure they go down to the grass and then they walk. They, Ryan pretty much had to push them out of the trailer because they were just so timid. Not sure what we were talking about having them do. Ah. We still need to put a few buckets of water. We've thrown around the idea of putting a water system these um, but those buckets are just easy for us to do because they can easily be monitored and cleaned out and stuff um, plus we have four wheelers with things that we can haul um, five gallon buckets with so taking buckets of water every few days is relatively easy for us so. see don't you think the hay feeder was a good addition I, what I was trying to tell you last night was put a lid on it. Yeah. So. And then off season, we can make you do that. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, I, a week of hard work. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of welding. A lot of welding. Well, because you welded all those. The yeah, horse that panel. was the hardest part to figure out was the tires. And that worked really well. So we're yeah. just really excited. Um, this... This will let us rotationally graze them without using electric netting. You know, this doesn't work at scale by any means. But, this is uh, for highly, highly specialty groups or yes. bottle lambs in the future. Yeah, bottle lambs. But the other cool thing is, like, if you have really elite females and um, just a few, and you want to put them with a specific ram, this lets you do that. I'm sure there's other ways to do that. I guarantee you there are. But, this lets them stay on grass versus putting them in a confined area in a lot, you know. So hopefully, you know, shouldn't have any worm pressure because they'll be getting moved daily. Uh, you can even, this is the supplement, you know. So this is the excess to, uh, if you really want to fatten something up, you can give them a little bit of hay. So you can, you can mix hay. The, 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 the real downside to this, I guess, would be water. You know, we don't have a we don't have a sophisticated water system. It's literally going to be a couple buckets on this. Yeah. But um, it's a daily chore if you were going to come move them anyways, and you only have three or to five sheep in here, then your water shouldn't be over a five-gallon bucket. 